So in this video, we're going to be upgrading the Nereus Ares wireless HDMI systems antenna in the receiver unit. So the first thing you need to do is remove these two screws from the back of the unit. If yours came with the rubber legs pre-attached, just peel them off and then you can access these screws. So once you remove those, use your nails to lift the front cover off the unit. It's a little awkward to do, but should come off quite easily. You can then see the internal components of the device. It's actually pretty simple with one PCB which has two smaller PCB antennas attached. The antenna with the black cable is a dynamic frequency selection antenna. You can see it has DFS written above it. This is purely for scanning to see if anyone else is using the frequency the unit is running at. We actually don't need to upgrade this antenna. The white antenna is the antenna that receives the image from the transmitter. I've removed it in this shot so you can see the writing on the PCB that says uplink. This is the antenna that we'll be upgrading. To remove the antenna, you need to use a large flathead screwdriver and lightly slide it in between the back of the aerial and the plastic casing. There's some sticky tape that holds it in place. It's a little stubborn, but should come off without too much force. You can also stick the screwdriver through the cooling holes to help unstick it from the side of the case. Once it's unstuck, just pull it out of the slot. You can then remove the antenna connection from the PCB by slowly lifting it up from one side. If you look up close, you can see that the stock antenna is incredibly small. It's only 1.5 by 2 centimeters big. So what we're going to do is replace this antenna with something that's significantly more powerful. I went for an 8 dBi 5 GHz aerial as this was a really nice size and form factor without being too large for my application. And when I was fitting the new antenna, I removed the clear plastic from the one side of the unit and then I threaded the antenna through the central hole. You could drill into the case or do something a bit cleaner than this, but this worked perfectly fine for me. Once that's done, all you have to do is connect the aerial. And before we put it all back together, quickly test the device to make sure you're receiving a clear image. After I assembled mine, I then put the plastic cover back over the hole that I threaded the antenna through. I only pushed it in halfway just to allow the cable to run through without being pinched by the plastic. This then just gave a tiny bit of added protection to the hole on that side of the case. And that's it, that's everything done for this. It's a really easy upgrade that provides a significant range increase over the stock antenna. Another major update to this system, which I'm working on now, is how to upgrade the aerial in the wireless transmitter. It is possible and there are connections on the board. They're a bit different to the one in the receiver, but I'm gonna work out a way to do it and as soon as I work it out, I'm going to be uploading a video straight away. So hit subscribe if that interests you. So the next bit is for anyone who came from the wireless directors monitor build and want to know how to mount this aerial to the cage. So the only part you're going to need to make is a tiny bracket. This bracket I made here is out of three millimeter thick plastic. It's two centimeters wide by four centimeters long. And on either side, I've drilled two five millimeter wide holes. To attach it to the unit, I screwed the aerial into the one side. I then tightened it up so it was as tight as I could possibly get it to go, just so it never kind of works its way loose. And then using a one quarter inch threaded screw, you can connect this mount to the cage. So same with this one, make sure it's really tightly screwed in so this part kind of never works loose. And that's it, you attach your aerial and you're done. I hope that was useful. It's a really simple upgrade that makes the device much more usable and also helps with the reliability of the connection. I'll be posting a bit more about this setup on my channel. So if that's of interest, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.